guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today I am going to do a video called where is God in all of this and it's just gonna be a Jesus talking video <laughs> if you haven't seen any of those I will make sure I have the playlist of that in the description but I'm just going to be sharing where is God in all that's going on in the world. And if you haven't noticed, I'm in a different space. I'm at Alex's apartment. And I think I've decided this is going to be the place that I film my videos. Because this is the quietest and just the most reliable space for me to film videos. So that's what I'm going to do for videos from now on. And without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. question for this title is something that a lot of people are asking right now and it's where is God in all of this that is going on I feel like we all are probably having some doubts having some questions I definitely have had lots of questions lots of doubts wondering what's gonna happen with my wedding which we don't know what's gonna happen with that which it's supposed to be this summer but we don't know what's gonna happen if it's gonna be okay to be in large groups and I wonder why I have to live in my little curtain cave <laughs> at my house and just all these questions I wonder why and where and what is going on <laughs> as I'm sure a lot of you are also wondering so I wanted to share just some things Jesus has been showing me in this time and it's just brought me a lot of comfort and I thought it could encourage you all as well the answer to the big question that we're asking today is actually really simple. Where is God in all of this? He is right next to us. And I know that it definitely doesn't feel like it sometimes, but the Bible actually says over and over and over again that he is right next to us and he is not going to leave us. And he didn't set us up with this coronavirus disease just so we would suffer in our homes. But he actually has a plan and a purpose for all of this. So I'm just gonna explore two little passages. And if you wanted to look up some more passages, you can, but I'm gonna look at one Old Testament one and one New Testament one. So the Old Testament one is Deuteronomy 31, eight. And the verse says, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear and do not be dismayed. And the context of this verse is, this is after the Israelites were led out of Egypt because they were slaves in Egypt. And Moses was encouraging the people that even when they are wandering in the wilderness, because that's what they did after getting out of slavery, they just wandered in the wilderness for several years. He was saying, God will be with them. He didn't bring them out here for them to die. <laughs> But he actually had a plan and a purpose for them out in the wilderness, which kind of reflects us right now because <laughs> we may not be in the wilderness, but it kind of feels crazy when we're all trapped inside of our homes. But we can take comfort in knowing that if God led the Israelites into the wilderness and had a plan, he's leading us through this coronavirus situation. So that's the first little passage that I have for you. The second passage I actually shared on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, shameless self promo, you can follow me right there. But the second passage or the verse that we're gonna be reading is John 13, seven. And it says, you do not realize now, but you will understand later. And I wanted to look up the context of this verse and I found that this is the story where Jesus is washing the disciples' feet, which was a very humbling act. It was a type of service that they did back in the day. And Jesus was washing their feet and one of the disciples named Peter said to him, you shall never wash my feet because Peter thought he was unworthy. He didn't want God to wash his feet because he didn't deserve it. But Jesus responds and he says, unless I wash you, you will have no part in me. And I kind of thought about that a lot and prayed about that little section in the Bible. That word wash didn't literally mean wash. I mean, he was washing their feet, but it meant more than that. 
and meant to purify and to cleanse. What Jesus was saying is, unless I purify and cleanse you, you will have no part in me. So for me personally, I don't know if this applies to you, but I'm sure it applies to a lot of us. This quarantine time that has been forced upon me, it has been a big blessing because in this time, the Lord has really been purifying and cleansing my heart and giving me a new direction. There's a few things we can gather from both of these passages that I wanted to break down for you because it's nice to hear stories about people getting left out of slavery and Jesus washing people's feet, but how do those stories apply to us right now in our situation? And here's the things that I gathered. The first is we have to know that sometimes we are not meant to understand what's going on. This is like how Jesus was saying, you will not understand now, you'll understand later. There's plenty of times in our lives where we're not meant to understand what's going on and that's precisely how Jesus intended it. It's because when we don't understand and we're in that unknown place, that's when we have to lean on Jesus. We have to learn how to trust him because, especially me, we want to be control freaks as humans and we want to know what's going on, but these are the times where we actually grow and mature and are cleansed. So that's the first thing that I wanted to share with you. Unfortunately, we're not meant to know what's happening. The second thing I wanted to share that I gathered out of these passages is we have to repeat to ourselves what is true. And in a time like this, when we are having church at home, where we're isolated or maybe with our families, it can be hard to remember the truth about our reality and about God. So what I mean by that is reminding ourselves the truth of Jesus is not going to leave us, like in that first verse. Jesus is good, like all of those things about God, just reminding yourselves of those truths so that you don't go insane, um, but you can ponder those truths and have them root in your heart. Because once they're rooted in your heart, then that's when you actually can live by those things. I've talked about this before, but repeating those truths to yourself is so important. Even if you physically have to tell yourself, God is good, he did not leave me. He does have a plan for me. Even if you have to physically say it out loud, repeating that truth is very good for your mind in this time when you might be going crazy. The last thing that I had to share with you today, number three, is we have to let God do his will in this situation. I believe that God has everything that happens to us for a purpose and a reason. And I don't believe that he just sent this disease for us to suffer, but I believe that so much good is gonna come out of this. We are gonna become better people, as not just individuals, but as a nation. That will be a result of this crazy virus. But for me personally, I am excited to come out of this situation as someone that is very excited about Jesus, because I definitely have not been excited about Jesus in a long time. And I'm just excited for what he's gonna do. And I know that he wants to do things in this situation. So we just have to let him, we don't have to fight it and we don't have to be kicking and screaming about all the things that we might lose. But we have to remind ourselves that there is a reason, there is a purpose for this entire crazy situation. So that's the end of this video. I hope it encouraged you and if it did, I want you to comment down below just how it encouraged you or what you're doing right now to stay sane in this coronavirus or maybe just what God is teaching you. Comment any of those things or all of the above and make sure you give this video a thumbs up let me know of any other Jesus talking videos you want to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye guys.